What's up everybody? Go back another quick video here of a tractor I recently altered. This is a IH 1026 by Ertl, 1 16 scale, released in the 90s. It's the one with the cat stamp on the casting here. It was a single wheel. And as you can see in the picture I'm showing. Special edition part of three gold demonstrators they released. I decided to take this and make it better, in my opinion. Looks a lot cooler. Um, the real tractor, the 1026, was uh, produced by International Harvester from 70 through 71. The tractor was like 112 PTO horsepower. Um, the gold demonstrator, of course, was the program they put out to try to promote sales. They were demonstrator tractors and that's how they modeled them with the gold paint and all that. I, I thought they were always really neat. This replica, I did a few things to it. Uh, put a hitch on the back there. Otherwise, the rest of the rear end is the same. I didn't do anything else to that. Um, Bender's Classic International. I did add a work light and a flasher light and an international decal on the back of the seat. Also a fender radio with an antenna on the fender there. Got your classic long international hood and gold paint and color of course for the demonstrator. Nice uh, breather intake and oval muffler on that hood. Of course your decaling is classic white decal with the black international and the model number 1026 down here at the bottom. Hydro up here at the top by the grill for hydrostatic. The engine details, I, I done nothing with that, so it's all the same as far as that goes. No changes there at all. That's all the same. Classic uh, 1026 grill styling here. Pretty nice. The suitcase weight on the front weights, the weight set, I did add that. Added the uh, international stickers to either side of the weights. I did do that, that was an addition I made. Um, tires and wheels. I like these tires that Ertl always had. I don't have a problem with them, so I decided I had some leftover from other projects. So I just uh, took these tires and dueled it up on this tractor. Um, spaced out the duels really nicely. I think that looks pretty good, spacey. The spacer is an in, a nylon insert from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, either one. They both have them. Um, the rear tire is a classic standard tire that you've seen on them many times. The wheel, same thing. The plastic insert in there. I did add some uh, wheel weights there. Did add some wheel weights on the rear there. Don't look too bad. And then your front tire and wheels are all new from Chucky's. Big, uh, thick, four ribbed front tire. Looks pretty awesome, I think. Then your wheel and your front. Deep uh, rim uh, wheel, metal of course, and then the insert in there with a the cap, and I painted the bolt patterns uh, silver tipped, the bolt pattern on those uh, inserts. So that my additions on this tractor was fender lights, decal on the back, hitch, drawbar, fender radio, spaced rear duels, front new front tires and rims all together in a front weight rack with the IH decals got all those IH decaling from a uh, Boston equipment they have all kinds of cool decals there for good price all right I'll do a quick comparison let's do that now all right everybody Erta 116 scale IH 1026 custom alongside my Ertl 116 scale John Deere 5010 Prestige, I believe. Green versus red again, but it's always been the classic bout. They look pretty neat side by side, anyway. Alright, everybody, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, IH 1026 116 scale customized by me. I did some stuff to it. I think it looks great like this. 
I like how it came out. It looks pretty sharp. Um, I've had people ask me about doing stuff for them, and I'm I'm willing to give it a try. But this is my process. This is how I do it. This axle is threaded. These are uh, connect connection nut, connector nuts on here. They just screw on. So that is removable. You can take that off. So that's just how I do it. I mean, I'm willing to talk to people if they're interested in me doing something for them. I guess I could try, see what happens. Um, but I, I enjoy doing it. It's fun. It's a good hobby to do. All right, everybody. I'll bring that camera closer for a quick look. I want to thank everyone that watches my channel. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk again soon.